Hi YouTube, welcome to my newest psychic reading on Joel Osteen. I am Lamar Townsend, if you're new to my channel. I'm a psychic and energy channeler, a tarot reader, and an astrologer. If you would be interested in a personal reading from me, I am available for personal readings. And I would love to read for you. Check out my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. The link should be in the description box below or the comment section below. Alright, whichever one. Definitely check it out. And know that I do all different types of readings. I do mediumship readings if you want to connect to your spirit guides and ancestors. I do past life readings if you want to connect to your past lives and learn about them. I do natal chart birth chart readings if you want to learn about your sun, moon, and rising. Or if you want a compatibility natal chart birth chart reading, I do those too. I also do, of course, psychic tarot readings, which I'm going to do in this video on Joel Olstein. And I do candles and so much more. I sew, I make scarves, so, you know, I do it all. Check out my website, LamarTownsonTarot.com. Of course, make sure you subscribe, like, follow, and share. Also, make sure that you check out uh, my uh, so other social media pages. I have a Twitch. I have a TikTok. I have a Vimeo. I have a Facebook. I have a podcast. Also, I have a Patreon. So, you know, definitely check out my website. All of these things are on my website. Or you can also just Google me, LamarTownsonTarot.com, and my pages should also come up. So... This video, in this video, I will be doing a tarot reading on Joel Osteen. If you haven't heard Joel Osteen, um, his church, he has a mega church. He is, I believe, a pastor. Um, and he has a mega church. And recently, it was um, said that some money was found hidden in the walls of his church. Um, a plumber apparently came to his church to do some work and ended up finding some money. So it's a really weird situation. We already know that churches, you know, I don't know how it is in other parts of the world, but churches in America specifically don't have, don't, they don't get taxed and, you know, blah, 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 blah. So it's, it's an interesting situation that Joel is in, you know, hearing hidden money, you know, it's, uh, it's interesting. All right. So, and it's also interesting because, you know, I was a fan of Joel Osteen. I don't know if I'm, I, I'm so much him anymore. I especially loved his Daily Breads. Now, I don't know if you guys know Daily Breads or if you guys, you know, are listening who, you guys and women, I don't, you know, you people who are listening, I don't know if you all, um, are like spiritual or, well, if you're spiritual, you're, if, you're, if you're spiritual, you're obviously, you know, if you're watching this video, you're spiritual, but I don't know if you all are religious or grew up religious, but I grew up Christian, Baptist, Pentecostal, all right, and, um, well, I'm not any longer religious, you know, and I don't go to church. I do still have my Bible. Actually, I have my Bible right here, believe it or not. Isn't that interesting, huh? Look at my Holy Bible. Look at that. In the name of Jesus. Um, I wonder if I have a daily bread in here, too, actually. I could show you guys. Probably don't. I have pictures. Look at my baby picture. This is me as a baby. Look, look, look at little Lamar. Don't I look so cute? So I have that. Um, what's this here? Oh, uh, that's me and my grandma. Alright. Um, I don't have a daily bread in here. But, um, anyways, if you grew up religious, um, or Christian or anything like that, you know, then of course you, you read your Bible, you know, or you read your Bible. You went to Bible cl cl class or Bible study. But, um, one thing that I loved, you know, was reading the Daily Bread. And the Daily Bread was uh, was something that was sent, I think, monthly or weekly or something like that. And I actually learned about this through my mom. I think she still reads it. I'm wondering how she feels about Joel Osteen now. Um, but the Daily Bread was like a, a pamphlet that you could, um, help, that helped you basically to study the Bible, but also gave you certain chapters to focus on and lessons. And it was really, it was actually a really good thing. I love that. And I think it is Joel Osteen, unless it's someone else. I could be going to get mixed up. But anyways, I say all that to say it's kind of sad to hear what's going on. But we will let Spirit talk, okay? Part one, we will be just focusing on Joel Osteen with the cards. Part two, we will be focusing on Joel Osteen and his family with the cards. Now, I do know or believe that he has a wife. Obviously, you know, he has a son and a daughter, beautiful family, very attractive, but is there some ugly behavior going on? I'm, I'm, I'm questioning and wondering. We'll have to see. Let's get into it and see what's going on with Joel Osteen, allegedly for entertainment purposes only. So here we are. Let's go ahead and get into the reading on Joel Osteen and see exactly what we have going on and what is coming up for him. I'm going to, of course, go ahead and cleanse the cards.
Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of the many past readings. In the name of the Mother, of the Daughter, of the Father, of the Son, the Holy Ghost. Amen, 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 amen. What is coming up for Joel Osteen after the situation of money being found allegedly in his um, church? What's going to happen with this? What's coming up for Joel Osteen? Maybe what's coming up for Joel Osteen in his congregation spirit. Tell us what we need to know in the name of Jesus. Remember to like, share, subscribe, follow if you want a personal reading. Once again, LamarTownsandTarot.com is where you can go for that. Check out my podcast. I post my horoscopes, uh, monthly horoscopes on my podcast and my Twitch. Links are in the description box below and the comment section below. The first card I get is a four of wands. So there's something I feel like number one where the supporters who have stayed, um, the supporters who have you know supported Joe for a long time, see him as not just his their pastor, but it's almost like family, like church family kind of thing. Um, and there's also something about this support that he has garnered from his, 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 um, I guess patrons, you could call them, you know, that, uh, that go to his church. They're more than willing to donate money. They're more than willing to strengthen that bond through the payment of tithes, you know, and, and tithes, tithes is like a monthly, basically, fee you're supposed to pay, you know, technically, you know, to, to upkeep the church, but it's also... A devotion to God in, in some way, shape, or form, allegedly. And if you're someone who you know b believes in tithes, I, this is no disrespect. It's the same concept in the spiritual world. Um, you know, I'm a big believer. You know, when when it comes to altars and, and putting money on your altar, so it's kind of the same concept, just different context, right? <laughs> um, I get the messenger, the hierophant, showing up in his placement of money and finances. So he's gonna act like either he there's something where he's gonna act like he knows what's going on exactly with his money but at the same time i i didn't know i know but i didn't know or i know now kind of thing all right um but there is something about where he knew it's kind of like though you know only it's like you know but it's through the guise of overhearing. You know, like I only know because I overheard it. Or I only know because they were talking about it during the meeting kind of thing. But you still knew. Like that's the vibe I get with this. I get the lovers. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's something with him where he try he turns this around into uh, maybe some sort of uh, teaching concept. In some way, shape or form. Like I, we, we might hear him talk about this. But I feel like it's in a way that involves God, love, support of one another, something like that. Um, forgiveness. Get the five of wands in his placement of home, family, and emotions, though. So there's definitely conflict going on, e even if it's conflict in the home. Not the church, the home. Conflict going on within family. Conflict going on definitely within his own emotions. Alright, at this time. If there's something where this is kind of put a stain. You know how you have like a very clean and pristine crisp shirt and you're, you know, you, you walk in it and you feel good. You know, you look good, you look perfect, but then, you know, you, you drop that, you know, one little bit of pizza sauce on it. Or one little bit of coffee on it. And it's stained, it's ruined kind of like Joel or how he sees the situation or how he sees himself it's like oh this shirt is ruined I spilled a little bit of pizza sauce and it's not like it's a big stain it's just like a a, a little stain but the whole thing is ruined you know it's, it's the pristineness it's the untouchableness you know of, of God or the the pristineness untouchableness of his the image that um, has propelled him to where he is is the energy I get and now, now there's a little stain, 
There's a little stain, you know, and it's like maybe a stain that can't be removed. Do you, do you know how difficult it is to remove pizza, a pizza sauce stain or a wine <laughs> stain or even a coffee stain at times? It can be difficult depending on, you know, the context, a.k.a. the fabric you're wearing. Um, sorry, spirit speaks to me in metaphors a lot of times <laughs> if you're new to my channel. I do get the nine of wands. Oh, I'm wondering is there something with the children? A child? Or the youth in some way, shape, or form? There is something with creativity. There is something also with um, romance showing up here. Romantic flings. There's going to be things that start coming up about him. And it, it's going to start coming from all sides, all ends. It may come from within the family. It may come from within the church. It may come from with outside the church. And suddenly that one stain turns into several. Alright. I get the sun card though showing up in his placement of health, work, and daily routine. So I think... For a while, all will operate as normal. I feel like there's something where this will be swept under the rug for the most part, especially within the church. So I would actually be interested, you know, to know people's perspective from inside the church. And I'm not inciting people to make videos or anything like that, allegedly for entertainment purposes only, right? But, but you know, I would be interested to see people's perspectives, you know, how... Things are going, you know, in the church, you know, you know, since this event has happened. Because I feel like there's something about operating as normal. The world card. And I think this guy, he also has supporters. And not only does he have supporters in wherever this church is located. You know, so if it's like, for example, if this church, he had, mega church he has is in Texas. You know, a large amount of his supporters would be, you know, Texan people. But I feel like actually people from all over the world come to visit this church. It's not just people, you know, that are local to the church or the surrounding area. People travel to this church and some travel frequently. Wouldn't be surprised if there's people traveling every Sunday or whenever he holds his services three two three four hours just to you know go to joel osteen's church all right there is something about owning up owning up to faults but once again under the guise of you know i'm not perfect nobody's perfect you know how the preachers can be i'm not perfect nobody's perfect but god can heal god can do this you know so and it's interesting because it, it, it's who, you know, he, he has always been. It's always been this kind of, you know, uh, turning things around, you know, and, and showing how God uh, may, turned it around in your favor kind of thing, you know, with Joel Osteen. You know, it's always been his kind of trope. His, I don't want to say say shtick, but um, that's been his kind of his go-to, I guess. Get the tower, though. Shows up in the placement of travel, long-distance travel. Um impulsiveness, optimism, um, messages from the higher divine, could be something dealing with classes, education, even. Definitely could show up nine weeks, nine months from now. November, December could be prominent months or a prominent time in some way, shape, or form connected to this tower moment. I'm wondering if something would happen to the church, actually, like, God forbid, knock on wood, in retaliation or, like, something like that. I think it starts to become who can Joe Osteen trust. Who can he trust? I think there's going to be certain things that continue happening where it's like, well, dang, like, you know, who, who, who keeps, you know, going against me or trying to bring me down? And I think it starts to become he can only trust himself. There is something where he will always seem to rise above the drama. And I get the Six of Pentacles as his last card. So, I mean, it's like, will this man ever go broke? You know, as part of his karma or retribution or whatever you want to call it no i don't see him going broke i do see like 
lessons learned, truth coming out. I don't know why I'm hearing arson. Knock on wood. I mean, I don't want it to happen, but I'm hearing that. Allegedly. For entertainment purposes only, I'm hearing that. Um, arson, I'm hearing that. Um, allegedly. But not allegedly. Okay. Um, but then... Uh, people are going to support Joel Osteen. Joel Osteen has, in some way, shape, or form, he has changed people's lives. He has, you know, brought people to God, to spirituality. And, you know, that is a part of his good karma. But it doesn't negate the bad that's been done or overlooked. You know, or, you know, has been turned a blind eye to. Which I feel like he's possibly also done. Alright. So definitely some karma is coming. Alright. W is coming in. It could be connected to a Sagittarius energy as well. So I don't know what his zodiac sign would be. But that's what I see for Joel Osteen, y'all. This is some juicy, juicy drama. Do you guys remember when he did that um, Sunday's Best with Kanye West? Mess. All right, you guys. I will catch you guys in the next video. Remember, if you guys want a personal reading, check out my website, LamarTownsandTarot.com. I am available for readings, and I would love to read for you. Remember, in part two, we will be getting into Joel Osteen and the family and seeing what's going to come moving forward with that. Because based on, you know, this spread, there may be some issues in that, that area of his life. So we're going to have to see. I'll see you in part two. I'll see you in your own personal reading. Either way, I'll see you soon. Thank you so much, by the way, to those who have been getting readings from me. I really, really appreciate you all for emailing me and um texting me um and 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 just getting readings from me it, you know i always love talking to you all and helping you all out you know so love and light god bless and i'll catch you soon